Now, yes, we all like to go to the butcher and pick up, you know, our steaks and chicken and ribs and pork and all this kind of stuff. Or maybe you have a local farm that you deal with uh, that you can get the fresh stuff, which is even better. Uh, some of the reasons why you may have to have some alternative products on hand in the chance that one you don't have a generator and everything in your freezer is going to go bad in the first few days if you don't cook it you have to sit back and really think about getting some canned goods now I know a lot of you out there are shaking your head saying no I'm not going there I'm not doing that but you never know how strong a storm is going to be and you don't know how long the storms will last and how long your power will be out and if you have a family to feed this is one alternative that you may want to think about now let's jump right in not everybody is you know really keen on canned goods but you know you can get some stuff like this beef stew now it's already packaged and ready to go it's got some potatoes and carrots and everything right in there with meat and everything and these all do have a quite a long shelf life you can get like your uh, roast beef and your barbecue pulled pork. Now I get these at Walmart. The only downside to these is is they have the pull top tap and I try to stay with the solid um, but unfortunately these only come in the pull top so you have to be careful when you're storing these that you do not damage this area right here where that pull top is because if you do you may just break that seal just enough there and it can make this go bad. Um, you have corned beef Sardines, that's everybody's favorite, right? Sardines, come on. Make some pizza. Oh, that's anchovies. Forgot to bring those out and put them on a table. But I'll do that next time. You know, corned beef hash. You know, you get a meal in a can. Now, yes, the sodium content and a lot of that is high in a lot of these products. Uh, but we are talking a survival type situation. This is for only survival not something that you're going to sit here and munch on uh, every afternoon. Well, maybe some of you might, but most of us don't. This is for your survival preparedness. All right. You may want to pick up some chicken broth, you know, and some beef broth. You never know. You may have to cook something, you know, and it's good to have a little broth if you needed to cook something or it's dry or something like that. You know, nobody likes to eat anything dry. Tuna fish is a give me. Uh, you can pick this stuff up. I would suggest getting like the solid white albacore you can get it in water or oil uh, I would say the water would be better and just in case you have to add it into some other things to make a meal uh, but that's all on your choice uh, chicken comes into a can you can get it uh, you can also get these little packs of uh, these are tuna fish uh, but you can also get them in the chicken and they last just about as long as the cans as long as you store them properly you get these great little deck hams now these are really high in sodium so what I would suggest is is when you take these things out of the can if you're going to use one of these or if you have to use one of these in an emergency situation if you take it out of the can and rinse it in water rinse it really well it gets some of that sodium out of that flavor off there so that's just a few things that you could put into your emergency supply kit um, you can pick most of this up at your local grocery stores um, your big box stores and places like that. Um, unfortunately, right now things are quote limited uh, due to you know what, and uh, so it could be a challenge to try to stock up and uh, come up with a plan to make sure that you have enough. Now I have done previous videos on canned goods, and uh, I go into more detailed information. So if that is something that you would like to check out. Uh, you can always go back into my videos and look for that.